Thank before you. we get started. Thank you. You're 100% for the for Thank you. Everything's good. Awesome. All right. This is the post-game press conference following game six on day two of the 2024 Southern Conference Women's Basketball Championship. We're now joined by the UNCG Spartans. We have with us head coach Trina Patterson, along with student athletes Jade Gamble and Nia Howard. We will have an opening statement from coach, followed by questions from the room. If you do have a question, please just raise your hand. We have a mic for you to do so. Coach. Uh, Mike, uh, really proud of our entire team and staff for moving on and playing through a really tough game, playing a very, very good Wofford team. Uh, really proud of how we stuck to the game plan. And so um, uh, we, we say that in order to move on and advance, you must play defense and, and rebound. Those are the two ingredients to moving on and advancing. Thought we did a great job with that tonight. Thought we had a remarkable effort by the entire team, but very exceptional by Jay Gamble and uh, Nia Howard, who are here with us. Um, uh, a tribute to, uh, you know, Rachel Rose, you know, player of the year, did a great job. Uh, but our game plan was to allow for her. We knew that she would get hers. We just weren't gonna let any of the other players score. So um, mission accomplished for just today. And uh, I'm real proud of our team. Thanks, Coach. Questions from the room? Coach, uh, you just mentioned your two players uh, that are sitting next to you and the kind of numbers they put up. I mean, 28 and 18, pretty good nights. I'm looking at the shooting percentages and those sorts of things as well. Um, really good numbers, exceptional numbers. Jay, you want to talk about that? Uh, first and foremost, I just want to thank God because I wouldn't be here without him. Um, I put the work in, my teammates, we put the work in, we get up shots together. Um, so coming out here to do a performance like this, performance like this is nothing really new for us. Um, it just shows in the work that we've been putting in. Nia, can you talk a little bit about their late in the game when they did challenge you? They got back to within four, just making those plays and, and kind of relying, getting back to what you all do and getting that win. The coaches did a great job of telling us to be relaxed and we were there for each other in all of our huddles. We tell each other, just be here together. We're here, we got each other, you know, just keep your composure against this pressure. Any other questions from inside the room? Yeah, thank you. Either one, Jade or Nia, you know, talk about the depth of this bench and what it means to have, you know, next player up and, and everyone stepping up. Man, we have five freshmen that are all dogs. <laughs> um, we brought in a lot of new people. Um, with a lot of returners as well. So I think this bench is just so deep um, just because everybody has their own natural talent and when we get together, it just gels really well, um, which is very nice because not every team can say they have that. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely proud of our bench presence, um, especially our freshmen. Like We had two freshmen thrown in the fire tonight and they went and did what they had to do. Other questions from the room? Coach, I'm looking at a stat here. Uh, again, you mentioned Rachel Rose, and that's a, a crazy night. But she was still, you know, the plus minus, minus eight. So that yes. kind of goes to your point, right? Like <clears throat> you can still play that way and take her out of the game. Can you talk about, like, how did you do that? How do you go about that as a team? Well, we, we have a great coaching staff. We do a lot of work. We study. And, um, and so we knew we did this the first game. You know, um, we did the first game where we were able to keep – two players in double figures. It's when they all score double figures that they're very dangerous. We have a very dynamic defensive unit, uh, both Jade and Nia. Nia gets the task of usually guarding the best player. And so she did a great job, along with the freshman, Micaiah, uh, on Rachel. But the point is, we weren't gonna give up corner threes. I think we gave up one, and that was a mistake. But we were gonna limit the three-point game. Uh, and so what, they made four? Mm -hmm. Like, so if we take away the three-point line from them, and we, but we had specifically talk about the corner threes, uh, that's how we were able to take that piece out, that corner. And then we, uh, I don't know how, did we do a good job keeping them off the free throw line? They were 14 for 15, but we were, we were 18 for 26. Mm -hmm. uh, ideally, we want to be at the rim, and so we did a great job of attacking the rim and uh, making it a tough shot and try to give up one shot. The rebounding, you know, was, was quite a substantial amount. Mm -hmm. And we got ourselves 14 second chance opportunities. Yeah. So that's kind of what we do. And uh, that's, that's our identity. Any other questions from in the room? Nia, you guys uh, had a tough year last year following semifinals. What does it mean to be the next step? 
it means a lot. Like the pregame talk, that was our motivation. It's the get back. It's a get back. So we owed them one. Good question. Uh, <laughs> Coach, last one, just prepping for Chattanooga. Chattanooga is a very good team. We're going to go study and, and, and spend the day. And uh, we split with them this year, uh, well coached. Uh, they do a phenomenal job. We have to make sure that we take care of business. And uh, it'll be a great game. Thank you all. Congratulations. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you. Right. See you, Mike. Thank you.